Okay. That's what happens when you look away from the page when you're doing mathematics. Actually, your question, by the way, Lonely Piggy, if I have any advice, when you're doing a problem, don't look away too much. Because when you look away, you might forget to put down a zero. You might forget a decimal place, right? So whenever you're doing mathematics, it's really important to f keep focused on the problem. Do the problem. Once you're finished with the problem, then relax your shoulders and look up and then attack the next problem, right? When you're doing a problem, don't push yourself to a level where you've been really tight for like six or seven problems and you're getting fidgety and you have to look away during a problem and then in the middle of it and come back to it, right? That'd be too big. Um, yeah, and by the way, Lonely Piggy, with multiple choice exams, here's one trick, okay? Go through it, right? Any questions you don't know, just circle them. Like for example, if you know these are the questions, one, actually I won't circle it because you want to circle it to know, right? So you got question one, two, three, four, five, etc. right? Let's say you're doing this, you know, you got question one, you got question two, question three, you're not 100% sure on, move on, just circle it. So on the scan back, you know, uh, which ones you haven't answered yet, right? And it might be a Scantron. If it's a Scantron, be really careful transferring your answers to the Scantron, right? Don't transfer your answers if you've got any gaps in there yet, right? Mm -hmm. So let's assume you didn't know what the qu answer was question three. You did question four. You didn't know what the answer was for question five. Let's say you continue to do this and there's like 50 questions, right? Let's say in the 50 questions, you have five questions that you didn't know the answer for. You do all 50 questions, you have five questions you don't know the answer for. You go back to them, you, don't, you still don't know the answer for. If you're gonna guess on them, guess the letter that appears the most in all the other ones you answered. So in all the other questions you've answered, which is there's 45 questions that you've answered, right? If B is the one that appears the most, answer the five B. Okay. Right? Whenever you're reading a math problem, read the whole problem first. And then when you're transferring the data over to the piece of paper, let's get this focused. When you're transferring the data over to the piece of paper, and then on the second read, transfer the stuff over. Again, you're on a time crunch, so you know, see how it works.